This is the Audi A8. And let's get something straight right away. This isn't technically the normal car review video. Well, look, it is a review of sorts, but because the A8 is so packed with technology and features, this is more specifically a guide or an overview to what the A8 is actually capable of. To find out how the Audi A8 actually drives and performs, just click on the links below for the full story or jump on caradvice.com.au. But just know that driving the A8 is a bit like driving a delicious piece of butter through a fluffy white cloud. Visually, the interior looks stunning. Everything just feels premium in here. The leather is soft, the brush metal finishes feel lovely, and even the way the buttons feel when pushed feels expensive. And watch this. The rotary dial that controlled the previous generation's infotainment system is gone and is now replaced with these two centrally mounted touchscreens. Being left-handed, I found these screens so easy to use, but Australia being a right-hand drive market, I think a few of the right-handers out there might find this just a little bit fiddly to use at first. A feature that has made these screens far easier to use than some of the competition is that the button or selection you choose has haptic feedback, meaning it makes a click sound and has a mechanical feedback feeling like you've pressed an actual button. You can even choose how loud and dynamic that click on the screen feels. Speaking of screens, the A8 also features Audi's superb virtual cockpit, which, like everything else you're about to see, is configurable to your every need and taste. Standard features across the A8 range include adaptive suspension, HD matrix LED headlights with dynamic indicators, a panoramic glass sunroof, a 17-speaker Bang & Olufsen sound system with a truly incredible 21-speaker optional system also available, DAB radio, a tablet style control for the back row, there's more on that later, head up display, and MMI navigation plus. Now, try to remember back when you were a toddler and that first time that you fell over and scraped your knee. And remember how comforting it was when your mum came over and gave you a big hug? Well, you know what? That's what these seats feel like. They're so comforting and supportive. And look, I don't know what leather this is, but I didn't know leather that soft and cushiony even existed. All the seats are heated and cooled, and you can adjust not only how heated and cooled they are, but you can adjust how heated individual sections of the seats are. There are so many levels of adjustment for the actual seating position both in the front and the back that if you can't get supremely comfortable in the A8, maybe sitting down just isn't for you. And then we get to the massage feature. Now look, it's been, a, it's been a real struggle having to test the seven different massage modes of these seats, but so far my favorite is Wave on a level three of intensity. We've all been there on a cold winter's morning where we've got in our car and the gorgeous soft leather of the steering wheel and armrest is just a touch too cold and could be distracting and therefore dangerous. Well, the A8 has you covered because you can actually heat the steering wheel and the armrest to your liking. How often have you thought, I wish my air conditioning had more of a summer fragrance? Yeah, me neither. Well, Audi have answered the question before it even existed. That's right, the A8 has the ability to select the fragrance of the air conditioning. There's the standard new car smell, or winter, or summer. Just click that, 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 and that, and look, winter is coming. And when it comes to choosing the actual temperature of the cabin, obviously you can just tap the temperature or slide your finger, or you can just chat to the car. I'm cold. What temperature should I set for you? 21.5 degrees. Okay, I'm increasing the temperature to 21.5. Voice control can even operate the navigation systems, even if you don't have a specific address. I'm hungry. Searching for a restaurant nearby. Could you say the line number, please? Three. I've started route guidance. And if you're not in the mood for a conversation, you can just use the MMI screen to type out the details or just write it out. This is just a small thing, but it makes a huge difference. Rather than waiting for the car to recognize the letter you've just written before you can keep writing, the A8 allows you just to keep writing and it will make sense of your scribble. When it comes to safety and driving features, the A8 has the latest in adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, autonomous emergency braking, lane guidance, turn assist and collision avoidance assist, and cross traffic assistance, making it one of the safest cars on the road. But it's also safe for those not in the car. Let's say you're about to get out and a bike or a car is about to pass by. Well, the A8 will actually warn you that something's coming and will hesitate opening the soft opening and closing doors to avoid a collision. A reverse camera with guidelines is incredibly handy when it comes to parking, but how about this? 
Not only does the A8 have reverse cameras, but there's a camera to the front, cameras looking after each wheel to avoid any scratching of rims, and cameras in the mirrors to give that top-down camera from above view. Being the longer wheelbase A8L, this is a big car, and this 3D view is worth its weight in gold. Speaking of gold, if you'd like the interior of the A8 to exude a golden hue, easy. Just go to background lighting and select solar. But a one color palette is far too restricting, so if solar isn't your vibe, maybe contour, or maritime, or maybe impulse, or vision. If you really want to get the party started, Caribbean. Just a bit bright, I might just tone that down just a little bit. There we go, perfect. At this point of the video, you would have noticed that we haven't yet delved into the back seat. And this being the longer wheelbase A8L, it's fair to say that the experience in the back is equally as impressive as up front. So, to the back. Rear legroom is absolutely huge. The seats are equally as comfortable as the front, and they're heated and cooled, and they also massage, but how's this for a party piece? So, no more complaints that your car isn't quite as plush as your private jet. And just so there are no discrimination issues surrounding your feet, this car has the optional foot massage feature. Yes, foot massage. You can choose between different styles, and because feet come in all different sizes, you can even choose what size fits you best. I'll have large, please. You would have noticed that there's screens attached to the back of the front seats, but now that I'm in like day spa mode, the screen on my side's a bit far away and nearly impossible to use. But Audi have solved this. Simply detach the screen off the back of the seat and operate it just like any tablet. You can select radio stations, operate media sources, adjust the sound, watch digital television stations, watch and control DVDs, and even browse the web, as the A8 can also be used as a Wi-Fi hotspot. But what if you're more of a laptop person than a tablet person? Like having your laptop here's, that's not going to be good, and having it here's, it's kind of bad for your neck. What well, they really need some sort of like a, like a laptop stand or like a, like a little table. Well, funny you mentioned that. Done. Just a quick side note, I actually did the research and wrote the script for this very video with this setup while getting a massage and a foot massage while surrounded by a beautiful summer fragrance. The centre console also comes with a smaller tablet screen, which is also detachable. It controls the rear seat adjustments, massage functions, seat heating and cooling, as well as the rear matrix lighting, which can be adjusted from lighting the entire second row area through to selecting individual reading lighting, the light beam size and brightness, and its actual position. The small tablet will also let you control the interior blinds above you, beside you, and behind you, and the radio, media, TV, and connection settings, as well as the background lighting, audio settings, and individual climate control, including the surface temperatures and the air conditioning's perfume and ionization. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, okay, I don't have the time or the inclination to spend hours delving through menus and submenus to make my selections. Well, it's no problem because you can actually set your selections to easy to access buttons. I selected the front wheel camera to this star button, and then there's the favorites bar in the lower screen, allowing you to assign radio stations, navigation points, and a host of other options to just one area. Amazingly, that was just an overview to what this car can actually do, but somehow Audi have made these immense levels of customization in the A8 easy to operate and completely intuitive to use. As far as a showcase to what's actually possible in a car, the A8 is just incredible. But what's really exciting is that a lot of this technology will trickle down into other Audi models. So to think one day an A3 or an A1 will have some of these features makes me really excited for the future. For more information on the Audi A8, just click on the links below or check out caradvice.com.au and let us know what you think in the comments of this level of tech in a car. Now, you'll have to excuse me because I've got a bit of work to do and I want to soak up the last of these massage chairs before I've got to hand the keys back. See ya.